assalamu alaikum viewers welcome to my channel nts guru today is the lecture 1 of series of analytical reasoning before starting question we will discuss some of the basic statements which used in analytical reasoning questions first one is preposition preposition is a declarative statement which may be true or false may be true or false but not both means for example 20 plus 18 equal to 36 this statement is false 2 square is 4 this statement is true it can either be false or true but not both small letters are used to refer the prepositions which are not specific P or Q. Here we will discuss different types of preposition. First one is negation. Negation of a negation of a statement means opposite value of the statement means if P then negation of P will be if P is true its negation will be false. If P is false, its negation will be true. In other words, we can say if P is 0, Q negation of P will be 1. If P is 1, negation will be 0. This is the truth table of negation. Next one is Conjunction. Conjunction means and. P and Q. It is represented by this symbol. Truth table of conjunction is. If. If P is 0 and Q is 0, then AND will also 0. If P is 0, Q is 1, their AND will be 0. If P is 1, Q is 0, their AND will be 0. If P is 1, their Q is 1, their AND will be 1. So, whenever conjunction is applied, both statement will be true, then answer will be true if any one of them is false then answer will be zero or false next is distinction distinction is or and its symbol is this so p and q and their distinction p or q zero zero their or is 0 or mean addition 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 1 plus 1 is 1 so whenever there is dis distinction statement any one of them is true then answer will be true next is implication implication is a compound statement of the form if p then q in other words, it's also called as P employs Q or it is represented by P employs Q. Means, if he wastes time, then he will fail. If he will waste time, then in result he will fail. These type of statements are called implication. If P, then Q. By conditional, if P implies Q and Q implies P, these types of statement is called or called as by conditional. This these can also be represented by this symbol. Or in other words, they are they can be represented as
for example example of biconditional statement if in triangle is an isosceles triangle then its two angles are congruent these are the different types of statements which will be used in analytical reasoning negation conjunction disjunction implication and biconditional statement so the first question of analytical reasoning series is a chemist is preparing a nutrient using eight different vitamins and minerals a b c d e h f and g according to the recipe the following requirements apply to the use of ingredients chemist is preparing a nutrient so there are eight vitamins or minerals so whenever the recipe is prepared these statement must be keep in mind if v is used both c and z must also used as we discuss different types of statements if v is used both c and z if v is used both this implies that c and z must also be used if c or z is absent any one of them is absent so v will not be used if e and h must always be used together e and h must be used together if c is used at least two of a b and f used if c is used this implies that at least two a b and f used c cannot be used together c implies that cannot be used together with h e f and z cannot be used together so we use this symbol a d and z cannot be used together in the same nutrient so these are the shortcuts representation which we will used whenever we start solving the analytical reasoning question by keeping these shortcuts we will solve or further questions what one is which of the following is suitable combination of minerals so we will select which combination is the best combination we will use this statement first statement is if b is used c and z must be used we see from options if here b is used but c is used but z is not used so we will place dot here because this is not included in our answer so we will see other one there is an, there isn't b in other statement e must always be used with h so we will see this e and h are used together this can be true this can be true here e with e there is no h so we place dot here here e with no h we will place dot here so next statement is c is used at least two of a b and f whenever c is used at least a b a f b f two of them is used so we will see with c where is c here is n c so this statement ignore this statement c cannot be used with h so c cannot be used with h so here is we will consider these two statement as a, other, all others we neglect all others e cannot be used with f and z e cannot cannot be used all together in the same nutrient so e f and z all cannot be used in the same nutrient but any one or two can be used here e and z so this can be answered here e f and z all are present in the one nutrient so we will neglect this so correct option is b1 is our answer of this statement question number two is which of the following cannot be included in the nutrients that contain e so from these option we will see which option is for e for e if e is present then h must be present so h must be present in the nutrients so if h is present c what is the word what, what this statement is saying c and h cannot be used together so for h is h present in the nutrient c must not be present 
so if how c must not be present what are the condition of c if v is present c is present so to absent the c from the nutrient b must be absent from the nutrients if b is absent then c will be absent if c will absent from the nutrient then h will be present and this condition will be fulfilled so b option a b must not be present in the nutrients that contain e next question is by the addition of exactly one more nutrient which of the following could make an acceptable combination of vitamins and minerals we will select which one of them is correct one and by adding one more nutrient this will be acceptable yeah, accept, acceptable recipe so by saying first one option a d and z we will see from the options for we will see from the option a d and z a d and z cannot all be used together in the same nutrient so we neglect this we will place dot here next one is b h and z we will consider b where is b b must b is used both c and z must be used so with b here isn't c and z so we will neglect this condition also c d and h we will see c condition if c is present h must not be present so this will neglect also this will be neglected c e and z so what is the condition of c if c is used at least two of a b and f must be used so c is used other two are not used so this condition is false here you can also see that e h and f so one option is remaining look at the option if e if e is used h must be used if e h is used h must be used e f and z cannot all be all used in the same nutrient so there isn't present all the nutrients so this one is the correct answer of this question Question two of this series: A group of dog lovers declare that the principal virtue of the dog is its general friendliness towards all people. Uh, virtue means behavior. Dog lovers say that the behavior of the dog is generally their friendliness towards all the people. But another group of cat lovers declare that the principal virtue of the cat is its peculiar friendliness towards its provider. So cat lovers are saying. Cats are friendless towards just its provider. So, what is the statement is saying? We will see from the option. Animals have not a sense to understand human behavior. So, this statement is false. Animals understand human behavior, their anger, their happiness. Group of animal lover lovers are friendly. So, we cannot generalize. So, we cannot generalize. Everyone is friendly who are animal lover. Friendliness is a virtue. Friendliness is a behavior. This statement is true. So option C is true. In the next lecture, we will discuss question three of an analytical reasoning series. Video ko like or share kijiye, aur mere channel ko subscribe kijiye.